While there's still a ways to go before we can officially call this a new discovery, this could be as big as electromagnetism or gravity. That's because there are only four forces that explain literally how everything in the universe interacts on a subatomic level. It's part of the rule book, the standard model, and scientists think they may have found a fifth force. The standard model developed about 50 years ago doesn't explain everything in the universe. So recently scientists have had their eyes on these particles called muons. They're basically a heavier cousin to an electron. If you put them in a magnetic field, they'll spin around like a top. And so scientists have made these incredibly detailed calculations about how they should move and spin and wobble based on the standard model in theory. So the thinking was scientists would run a series of experiments to see if these muons do behave as predicted. Turns out, they don't. Last year, scientists calculated a very precise number, and when they ran the experiment, the results didn't match the theory. The same experiment was actually done in the UK in 2000, and the calculations also didn't add up. But this experiment just done in Illinois used some very, very precise numbers, and these results are incredibly exciting. Now, most people would call this a win, but in science, you need to have that difference calculated to such a precise value. In our field, we like to set the bar of the significance of a new result pretty high, higher than most people might say. If you think about this in terms of a football field and you're trying to score a touchdown, we're in the red zone right now. So scientists are going to repeat this experiment at least four more times over the next couple of years. Okay, as far as a name for this new force, if it all comes to be, how about leptocork, Z boson, or even flavor force? Names are still on the drawing board. I will keep you posted. But a fifth fundamental force might help explain some of the big puzzles about the universe that have excited scientists in recent decades. So stay tuned. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.